Hello, my name is Omid, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you some new words you can use to say like and don't like, okay? So one thing I notice with a lot of students is they always say, I like Justin Bieber. I don't like Justin Bieber. I like movies. I don't like movies. It gets a little bit boring, okay? If you're always using this word, there is no problem with the word like, but it does get a little bit boring. So today I'm going to teach you some new expressions that are more exciting, that mean the same thing. So now let's look at some of these words. Okay, so I have here the word, I like reading. This is something I love doing. And then I wrote something I don't like. I don't like cooking. I'm terrible at cooking. And it's actually one of the things I really, really do not like in my life. I want you to think about something you like and something you don't like. Maybe you like movies. Maybe you don't like winter or cold. Okay? So think about one thing you like and one thing you don't like. Once you have that in your mind, I want you to follow me as I teach you some words to describe your feelings. Okay? So, the first word we can use when we talk about like is enjoy. For example, I enjoy reading. I enjoy movies. I enjoy shopping. I love reading. I am passionate about reading. For this one, it means very strong like. You really, really like something. You are passionate about reading, okay? And I do really like reading a lot, so I would use this. Please pay attention to the preposition that goes with this. I am passionate about something. Are you passionate about music? Are you passionate about Justin Bieber? Or maybe you're passionate about the Beatles or Taylor Swift. Maybe you don't like them at all. But think about something you're passionate about. We can also use the word, I am fond of reading. I am fond of reading. Similarly, I'm a fan of reading. I am a fan of hockey. I am a fan of soccer. I'm a fan of baseball. Okay? So again, this means you really like something. I am interested in. I am interested in shopping. If you like a guy or a girl, uh, you can also use this too. For example, you have a crush on. I'm interested in Selena Gomez. I am into. I am into scuba diving. I am into traveling. I am into going to the beach. All of these mean the same thing, pretty much as like or love. Now, let's look at some words that have the opposite meaning. Don't like. Okay? And like I told you before, I don't like cooking. I hate cooking. Now, if you want to sound like an academic at an academic level, we also have this word. Loathe. And it means hate like a lot. You really, really hate something. You loathe it, not love it, loathe, okay? You can't stand it. I can't stand cooking. I'm not much of a fan of cooking. Cooking drives me crazy. I am sick of cooking. I am tired of cooking. Cooking is not my cup of tea. So this one, actually, I really like. It's a very strange expression. Not my cup of tea. And it means you don't like something. Justin Bieber is not my cup of tea.
You know, uh, certain types of food, they're not my cup of tea. Okay, not my cup of tea. And again, this has nothing to do with tea. It actually just means you don't like something. You can also say, it's not my thing. Cooking is not my thing. Playing video games is not my thing. Just some examples here. So, when you are speaking to your friends, uh, when you are talking maybe in class, I want you to try to use some of these words just so you are not always saying, I like, I don't like. This will make your vocabulary a lot more interesting. Now, there is one other thing I wanted to tell you about these words. And that's, when you have two verbs in a sentence, uh, when you have verb 1, verb 2, something has to happen to the second verb. Either the second verb is going to end in ing, or it will end in to verb. Now, for those of you who maybe this is a little bit too advanced, don't worry about this. But for those of you at an advanced level, I'm just going to make a point. Pretty much all of the expressions we practiced, if you have a verb here, it's going to end in ing. So, I enjoy making. I love listening. All of these, the second verb will be an ing, okay? So, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am very passionate about teaching English. Until next time, take care.